This is an All Ears English podcast, episode 1003, a worldwide frenzy to improve your English. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 50 million times. We believe in connection, not perfection, with your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Boston and New York City, USA. And to get your transcripts delivered by email every week, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash subscribe. Today, one of our listeners sent in some tough questions from her students about how to comment on things around the world. Up your vocabulary game today with this episode. Hey, Lindsay, how's it going? I'm feeling so good, Michelle. I recently joined a tennis league, so I'm Ooh. starting, I'm getting back to my old sport of tennis, and it's so fun. That's <laughs> great. That's great. Have you ever heard of the sport pickleball? Yeah, yeah, of course. Kids used to play that in school when I was a kid yeah. all the time. Well, I, they have like a league now where I live. And, um, <laughs> and also, so I've played it a little bit, but my dad is like Mr. Pickleball. Really? That's so funny. It's such a niche sport. It's such a random like schoolyard sport, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he plays it like every day. It's amazing. <laughs> My God, that's awesome. That's I so know. Cool. I think it's cool. He loves it. So anyway, um, but that's cool. Have fun with. So guys, for those of you who don't know, pickleball is kind of like a mini tennis. Kind of a mini tennis. Yeah. Do you use a racket though with pickleball or no? You use like a, it's like somewhere in between like the size of a tennis racket and a ping pong paddle. Like it's mm, like, okay. it, it's kind of, it's yeah, right in the middle, much bigger than a ping pong paddle though. So yeah. Um, okay. but yeah, so it's not played with pickles, guys. Mm, interesting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no right. You're not like, in the game. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Good to know. Glad to hear that we're both getting out. You know, it's summertime, get under the sun. I always feel like it's hard to pull myself away from my work, but it feels so good to get on the tennis court. And then I just feel happy when I come back from the matches, you know, that's it's just good. great. That's yeah. great. Well, good luck. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but Lindsay, you know, isn't it amazing that we get to communicate with people all over the world? It is really amazing. That's one thing I love about our work. The fact that, you know, we do get to connect. We, we're not just in our own little like mindset here. We get to yeah. connect with people everywhere, all oh, over the world. That is the best. Yeah. So, and speaking of, I think we want to thank some of our re- people who have reviewed yes. us all or over the all world. Over the world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, guys, I want to say thank you right now to the people who have reviewed our app, our iOS app. Guys, if you're not using the app, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash bonuses. There are going to be new and amazing features in the fall and the late summer. So, go sign up, start using it there. But thank you to um, Nagla Tharwat, Siva Lee, Coffee Addict, Joyce Ho, TPE, Ho Shang, Chico Ferreira, I see Habibi, Shayla Christian, Reyna DN, someone in Taiwan on July 12th, Sarah Al Yamani, Las 0010, and it just goes on and on, Michelle. Someone mm-hmm. in Taiwan, um, Surabaya 1 in Switzerland, and Forest 66666, uh, in China. Guys, you are awesome. Thank you for these reviews. And Michelle, they're almost all five star reviews. So it looks like oh my goodness. people love the app that's awesome thank you guys so much it means everything to us really it's really really nice to get this feedback and also i see that sheila um from brazil has asked a question in her app review so guys that's a really good way to ask a question i'm now going to put this in our ideas document so that we can address this question ask your question inside your app review Let's do it. Okay, awesome. So thank you again, everybody. And speaking of listener questions today, we have a listener question from a teacher. Yeah, awesome. So this is from Miho, who's in Japan. Yeah. Do you want to read us the question, Lindsay? Yeah. Okay. So Miho just says, Hi, I'm Miho from Japan. Thank you for your great podcast and blog. It's been super fun studying too. (laughs) (laughs) I'm working as an English teacher and recently I got two good questions from my student and I need students and I need some help from native English teachers. Please tell me the difference between these idioms all over the world, around the world, in the world, in many parts of. 